Okay. In order to try and test which is a good emulsifier, which keeps an emulsion stable for longer, we are going to use some emulsifiers. An example would be egg yolk, corn flour, or mustard powder. And in this experiment, we are going to now look at water with oil. And we clearly know there's no emulsifier in here, so the oil and water separates very quickly because it's an unstable emulsion. What I'm going to do in this one is add in some egg yolk, and what I'm going to do to measure how good the emulsifier is, I am going to time how long it takes for this emulsion to separate into its different uh, substances, uh, different sections of oil and water. So the first thing I'm going to do to make it a fair test is I'm going to take uh, my corn flour and I'm going to put it into my beaker, I mean my boiling tube with oil and water and I'm going to put just a spatula of corn flour in. Then I am going to take mustard powder and I'm going to add a spatula of mustard powder into the other boiling tube with oil and water. And then in my other boiling tube, I'm going to place some egg yolk. I'm going to put a bung on the mustard powder and then as soon as I start shaking it and as soon as I'm happy with an emulsion that's been formed, I am then going to start the timer and see how long it takes for separation. So mustard powder, oil and water and I need to shake it the same amount of time. So I'm going to give it about 10 shakes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I start my stopwatch and we are going to look at how long it takes for the oil to separate from the water. We can notice that some separation is taking place where the bottom is starting to become a bit more clearer and the top is a bit more darker. However, there is still not enough separation. It's still a good form of emulsion, but as we can see, it's starting to separate out. And right at the top, we now have a mixture of mustard powder and oil. And with the bottom, layer so clearly there is some separation and I would say that we can safely say separation is stopped and that took me a minute 15 seconds so therefore we'll record our time that's one minute 15 seconds for corn flour Going to reset the stopwatch and then going to take the rubber bung, put it over, we don't want to mess. And again, I will shake this vigorously for 10 times. And start the stopwatch, and then we're going to wait and see how long it takes for separation to occur. Clearly there's quite a bit of separation that's already taken place. We can clearly see a yellow band at the top uh, with corn flour and water at the bottom. And I'm going to stop it there because there's clear separation. Okay, that has taken me approximately 17 seconds. Now for egg yolk. I'm 
I have egg yolk in here. I reset the timer. And again, 10 vigorous shakes. And we start the stopwatch. And we go. Now, please be aware that the bubbles at the top that you've got there is actually what happens when we try to beat egg white up. It forms peaks, especially when making meringues and so forth. But what we want to focus on is the bottom liquid layer there and try and see if there's any separation taking place and how long it takes for the separation to happen. Okay. If we have a look, we can see that egg yolk is an absolutely good emulsifier. The time now is 50 seconds. We haven't gone past 1 minute 15 seconds of mustard powder, but definitely egg whites, egg yolk is a better emulsifier than corn flour. We now have 1 minute 10 seconds and still there's no real separation. We're now over 1 minute 15 seconds, which clearly now egg yolk is a better emulsifier, which is keeping the emulsion much more stable. We can clearly see that corn flour was separated well, and as well as the mustard powder, but we've got egg yolk, which is still keeping a very stable emulsion. So therefore from these findings, I will stop the stopwatch, because we've gone way above 1 minute 15 seconds. So therefore from our findings we can say that egg yolk is a better emulsion and therefore we find mayonnaise which is an emulsion doesn't actually change into egg yolk and oil because egg yolk is a really good emulsifier and mayonnaise stays there for a while. How you know when mayonnaise actually goes bad is that it actually separates. When mayonnaise separates into oil and actually uh, the egg yolk that's when you know your mayonnaise actually gone bad. So good mayonnaise will always keep a stable emulsion. Salad dressings, you'll have this scenario where on the shelf salad dressings will, will basically separate out. Therefore salad dressings are made of water and oil molecules. If you give it a good shake and then use it, it's fine. But if you've got salad dressing lying on the shelf, it's going to separate. So therefore it's not a very stable emulsion. Okay. I hope that 